Stand by, folks. We'll be with you guys very shortly. G'day folks and welcome to Australia Worldwide Gaming. My name is The Godfather. We're doing a special one here today. Uh, it is a quick drive with the RW Hanser 2. This is the very first time we're using the RW Hanser 2 on the Chatham Mainline as I've just purchased this over the last 24 hours from upgrading from the original RW Hanser Pro uh, to the RW Hanser 2. Uh, so uh, this is a very special one. It's the Class 700 edition of the Armstrong Powerhouse edition of the, uh, the Class 700, sorry. It's the Armstrong Powerhouse ed Class 700 edition. And as you know, the Armstrong Powerhouse edition has uh, different libraries. Uh, so they classify them as Class 700 and 7 and so forth. But anyway, this is the uh, Southeastern Class 707, as it's known as uh, from Armstrong Powerhouse's site. There is a description in the link for that one, and we have established a quick drive for tonight. Uh, we're going to be stopping at uh, Denmark Hill, Nunhead, Beck, uh, Buckham Hill, uh, Bromley South, St. Mary Cray, uh, Swansea, Rochester, Chatham, Gillingham, Sittingbourne, and Faberson Final Stop from London, Victoria here tonight. So, uh, that is the list of the stops we have on the menu. Uh, so, here we shall go. Alright, so we have established that one. Uh, and it is via Cat Ford. Okay. So, 15 hours, which is 3 p.m. Clear, summer, APs, class 700, 707, 717. EP, that's what it's classified as. Um, we have someone from London here today. Uh, can't really pronounce that one, but g'day to you. Uh, I'm going to write the pack. The, pa the pack. Uh, from London. Fantastic. All right. Uh, so here we shall go with this one. All right. This is our second time that we're using this. We used it earlier today on the high-speed ice run in, the, uh, in Germany. And, oh, my God, it was so cool. All right. We, we were on the uh, Leipzig Berlin route earlier today. We didn't actually do the full length, but uh, we did a fair bit of it. Anyway, it was like 80, 90 kilometers of it. 90, 90 kilometers of it. It's around the same tonight, actually, on this one. So here we go. All right. Here we are. Begin service. AWS operational. Good afternoon, and welcome aboard this train number 169 bound for Faversham. Calling it Denmark Hill, Nunhead, Beckenham Hill, Bromley South, St. Mary Cray, Swanley. Rochester, Chatham, Gillingham, Sittingbourne, and Faversham its final stop. We wish you all a pleasant journey aboard our train. Alright, so uh, here it is. Yes, lovely, lovely uh, graf uh, frame rate around London, Victoria. Nothing unusual. City Beam. There we go, City Beam. The Class 700, hopefully they get it right if they end up putting it on Train Simwell. 
We want. We don't want the prototype. We want the real one. All right. Let's. Uh, let's get the. Uh, PSI up on the board. I don't think this one actually has it. I'll just have to double check. Train number 169 departure to Faversham is imminent. Please stand out of the doors. Just gonna put it at that. All right, so we are ready to go. Here, oops, no, we're not. DRA. All right. Oh, here we go. Next time, please let us know before you start your service. Good afternoon and good service. <laughs> I haven't started rolling before I told him. Whoops. <laughs> All right, so Denmark Hill, two point nine six miles. See any closed signals in the immediate vicinity of your train. Uh, no, not that one. So what I want to bring down, I'll just bring that down just a little bit on the on the desktop audio. That's the one I want to know. How, what button is that? Doesn't look like they got lights in there. Speaking another language in England? What the hell? Must be the Indian cricket team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey guys, I was coughing. Mask on now. Because it doesn't come up on the board, I just put on there, check stations. Let's check the station for the uh, the guide.
Jesus Christ, that was from back there. Don't forget, folks, the live stream chat is open to subscribers only. Ah, uh, you know what? I just bloody... Bugger. Just got tripped up. Got tripped up by the uh, safety system. AWS. Is it a TWS? Uh, TWS. Uh, TB. TPWS. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, there's, there's AWS. Good thing about when you take a photo with this, it doesn't uh, take all this area here or this area here, I do believe. Which is great. Ah, uh, I got tripped up again, did I? No. It's alright. Not see any closed signals in the immediate vicinity of your train. Okay. Well, we're right to go with that then. Oh, we're going this way. Okay, cool. Going a different way than I normally do. Oh, we're about to go on to part of the uh, South London network. That's the South London part of the South London network, that one there. Oh, that's cool. Awesome. It's a different uh, chat and mainline one than I normally would do. There's a bit of London in the background there. Well, we are in London, aren't we? But uh, you know what I mean, like part of the main city. Like a massive egg. <laughs> yeah, it's very similar to ours, but it's absolutely massive. Like, you don't understand how big London is, but it's fucking massive. Yeah. It's huge. Let's put that in. 
yeah. Hard. Oh, you see buildings there in the distance as well. Next stop, Denmark Hill. Sounds like someone's playing with a balloon. <laughs> There, that's uh, London Bridge. First stop, here we are. I want to establish a decent run before we got to our first stop on this one. And I thought it made sense to stop at Denmark Hill first up, so. Here we are. Oh, well, reset those stats while I'm here. There we go. Platform duties complete, but uh, that means the normal part, but. I'm going to open the doors anyway. Because <laughs> we're waiting here longer. We've got to wait on uh, our signals, not their signals. Our signals. We're here for two minutes, I do believe. Every stop is two minutes or 90 seconds, something like that. I think it's two minutes. This gives us a look around inside the train. This is the Armstrong Powerhouse version, by the way. So, uh... Do you note that? It's not the standard dovetail release that you had. So we got the Armstrong Powerhouse, we got the Hansa, we got everything rolling, we got sky boxes and man everything is pumping on this one. Here we go. Your attention, please. Platform 4. Train number 169 departure to Faversham is imminent. Please stand out of the doors. As soon as we get that task, uh, it should clear. Yep. We got the whistle. Here we go. For your safety. We invite you not to leave your luggage unattended and to report to us any package or object that you think is suspicious. Thank you for your vigilance.
you kidding me? Surely I didn't trigger it. I cleared it. I cleared that. I was going to say, man, I surely cleared that. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure I cleaned that. Pretty sure I cleaned it. I'm going to have a listen to this. We do not see any closed signals in the immediate vicinity of your train. Looks mad with the city in the distance there. See, there's things that TSW don't have. You know, this, this, I swear, shit's all over it. Shit's all over it. Same company, but man, with the enhancements, woof, this game just. Imagine Train Sim World with this type of enhancement. My, my god. It's got way better stuff anyway, there's more London stuff, there's more German stuff, there's more US stuff, there's... Obviously the game's long, been around way longer. But, man, like, I've committed myself last October, finally, after mucking around with it for a couple of years, and, you know, I had a lot of issues with it. But, uh, yeah, I just... I prefer playing this than TSW. I have control on the doors, so that's good. See, so it says duties are complete, but they're not really, because we've established it through the enhancer that it's a couple minutes. like to give people time to get on the train. That's what it's all about. I wouldn't like those on the train. <laughs> Bunch of crows. <laughs> Bunch of crows. Probably get those around midnight and stuff or late in the morning, you know, after coming back from the pub. <laughs> Bunch of crows. <laughs> Night ride, <laughs> the night ride, the night ride. Yeah, we call it, we have a night ride that replaces the trains here in Sydney. It's called called the night ride, but it's well known. It's called the nut ride. <laughs> Your attention, please. Platform two, train number one hundred and sixty nine. Departure to Faversham is imminent. Please stand out of the doors. Ready to go.
Uh, next stop is 3.37 miles, or 3.36 now. Don't forget, live stream chat is subscribers only. Come and say good day. Don't be shy now. More than welcome to come and say hello. Don't forget the uh, chat does uh, get cleared after the live stream. There will be a full replay of this one as well and added to our dedicated Train Simulator Classic playlist. And I will be establishing uh, another gameplay uh, after this one as well for uh, later today. I'm going to do another one later tonight actually. We're going to go to Japan. So we're going to Japan. 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 I, I'm, I'm, I'm back around. We're going to Japan. Japan, folks. I like to call it Japan. That's just, you know, I like to be, look to put a little spin on it, you know. We go to Japan. We're going to go fast, and that's it. Simple. like someone playing with a balloon in the background. Some of these stations are actually uh, too small for this train. Should have took the five car actually, I decided to take the ten. We're going through Catford now actually. serious it triggered me again I don't know it keep I'm, I'm pressing Q and it keeps triggering I don't know what's going on I'm pressing Q and it, and acknowledging but it's not uh, triggering it for some reason It's a 375, uh, it's I still think that this is one of the best uh, London routes. Like, I love them all, but this is one of the best. And obviously, I got the updated version when it was released, because uh, I, as you know, as I explained to you guys, I establishing, I started establishing my library back last October. So, um, yeah, it's been uh, really awesome to have gotten this one. I got this, at, so I've had this since the release of the updated Chatham Mainline. Obviously got the old version with it as well. I'm still establishing my library as well. I'm just waiting for some more sales, but uh, as you... Here we go. Next stop is 
Next stop, Beckenham Hill. As you uh, might not be aware, or you might be aware, that I am uh, got the uh, east, another part of the East Coast Main Line yesterday, so as well. So I've been establishing a few things lately, some Armstrong Powerhouse stuff. But yeah, I like to wait for the sales. So I like to get the likes of the Arizona Divide, and there's still a few uh, parts of the Midlands Main Line I want to get as well. I still want to get the um, expressway. Expressway they call it. It's a that's a long route. That's a long route, I know, and it's a very good route. All right, here we go. We had our next stop. This is what I would love to see working, PSI, but yeah, can't get everything yet. We've got that, we're, we're starting to establish those more now, more often than not on TSW, which has been something that I begged for for a very long time, and finally we're starting to see them on more than 50% of the routes now, so it's good. I was very disappointed with TSW2 when it first was shown and they didn't have the PSIs. I'm like, what? Come on, surely we're at number two now. Surely they're going to start like giving us better, more detail and stuff. And <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we all know the problems with that game. <laughs> it's hell on earth. As much as it frustrates you, you know, being a rail fan, you, you can't help but not enjoy it even though you got all for your safety we invite you not to leave your luggage unattended and to report to us any package or object that you think is suspicious thank you for your vigilance your attention please platform 2 train number 169 departure to Faversham is imminent please stand out of the doors Hope you're enjoying the trip so far. It's really cool. Still got 43 miles to go.
want to know how you can move seats. Slow down there, Godfather. Come on, what are you doing? Okay, Bromley South coming up. Sort of gives me that Croydon feeling every time I come here. This is all these tall buildings and stuff. I like this up here too. You got that pie and mash there. Look at that pie and mash. God, that makes you hungry, eh? Here in Australia, we call it the meat pie. I mean, the best meat pie is the four and twenty. Four and twenty is meat pie. Huh? Oh, my mum used to make a mean shepherd's pie. Oh yeah. Ah, spicy, very spicy. Just, oh man, the bomb. It was awesome. Yeah. I love that shit. Well, at least the train is going to be able to uh, get on the platform here. Okay. Lobster, I'll be lost without my lobster. <laughs> well, it's better than Pringles. <laughs> I like this logo here, it's pretty cool. Okay, we should be getting the uh, announcement here very shortly. Your attention please. Platform 4. 
Train number 169 departure to Faversham is imminent. Please stand out of the doors. Next stop is in 3.6 miles. You with the Godfather, ladies and gentlemen. We are doing a quick drive uh, timetable service on the Chatham Main Line with the RW Hansa Pro 2, uh, so or the RW Hansa 2. There is in the description uh, a link to the site if you play Train Simulator. So there is a link to the site, and there's also a link to the Armstrong Powerhouse site as well. Both are both are very very well. Um, Recommend, highly recommended by me, the Godfather. Highly recommended uh, if you want to enhance your game. Do note that Armstrong Powerhouse is one of those ones where unfortunately you need this, that, this, that, this, that to have things work. Uh, so it's a bit of a pain in the ass beat, but yeah, I'm starting to work out those things now. Uh, so yeah, I'm uh, putting the pieces together as they say. So I was trying to work out how the hell I, I couldn't get these uh, libraries running on, on for the uh, Armstrong Powerhouse 700. I'm like, how can, how can I get the other ones running? And uh, yeah, found out now it's quick drive, so. Couldn't actually work out how to do quick drive and do stops actually well uh, before I got this uh, enhancer last night because I did I've, I've had the pro one for about five about four about, about three four months now and um, yeah I, I just was just going through some train simulator enhancements last night because I was looking for something else and then I seen this one I thought and I thought oh, I'll have a I seen a video for it. I thought oh, I'll have a look at the video, and then as soon as I started um, watching it and um, seeing the differences of it, and as soon as I heard the announcement thing, I thought, "OMG!" straight away. And I, I knew I had a fair bit of money still left on me, and I thought, "Oh, I'm upgrading. <laughs> I'm upgrading." I was all in on it straight away. I thought this is going to change my gameplay forever. I just hope when we get future routes that it does recognize those as well. But uh, yeah, it's apparently still in a early stage, so I hope not. I'm seeing there was an update there for it actually last night when I did get it and I updated it straight away, so I thought oh cool it was Hopefully going to stick to uh, having updates when there's new routes. I'm not sure if it works on the Long Island Railroad yet, actually. I'm going to test that one, actually. If it does, I definitely will establish a, vi a video uh, live stream for tomorrow on the Long Island Railroad. crank it up we're up to 90 oh now we can't crank it up we're coming up to the station surely the announcements coming through in a second
the only thing I don't really like about it is this bloody thing up here. But anyway, you got that in Microsoft Live Simulator sort of thing anyway. Ah, oh, you fucking kidding me. Did I trigger the wrong one? since I come through this way. Alright, here we are. Here we are. I shouldn't have stopped here. <laughs> I shouldn't have stopped here. There's no one here. Ah, uh, we stopped for the fun of it. You know, we, you know, we put a, put all this together for you guys. You know, and I just wanted the pretty long one and the decent one. Oh, here we go. We got some passing news. Is yeah, she getting on? No. Excuse me. Oh, you got your headphones on there. What are you listening to? All right, have a good day. <laughs> Only if we could. I like this as well. I like how you got the lights here. This is really cool. I don't know about this here, but anyway. Does that look like the train's moving? Platform 4. It is too, Train eh? number 169 departure to Faversham is imminent. Please stand out of the doors. That's moving. <laughs> that is moving. We remind you that it is forbidden to smoke inside the station. Thank you for your understanding. Uh, next stop is Swansea. bit of bulldoze construction there. I like how you actually see it, dig it out and then actually drop it. That's cool. So you see stuff like that on TSW, but yet they don't see any emanations with them or anything. It's just, you know. We already got a bad memory bay on it anyway, so probably a good thing. <laughs>
sample to uh, you guys about that one. You've got the access to the radio. You have a stat sheet here. Uh, so we're averaging 30 miles. Uh, we've over sped 16 seconds in the trip. Currently uh, have traveled uh, 17 miles. And here's your your brief, all the stops and everything, task, and yeah, it's really cool. smoking <laughs> I haven't had a smoke all day I only had one last night and I plan to have one again later on that will do me fine as I am trying to quit thank you for your cooperation <laughs> There's another radio uh, microphone thing, but you need to be a uh, subscribe per month sort of thing. And uh, or subscribe for 12 months or 6 months or whatever the plans they have. They have a subscription service where you can have way more stuff. And um, there's a full radio where you can actually talk into the microphone to, to, the, to them and say anything you like. <laughs> you can call them. You can... You can you could call him a yellow habibi if you wanted to, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but um, or you can, you know, say things like normal, like um, how far is the train up in front, and it could actually reply to you. So it would be quite interesting to see what it could actually be capable of to do. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to stand right on top of the edge of the platform on my mobile phone. Hmm, yes. Let's have a look and see the doors closing inside the cab. Wow, well, he actually. Right. Your attention, please. Platform 4. Train number 169 departure to Faversham is imminent. Please stand out of the doors. Very good. All right. Uh, Rochester's our next stop. 14.63 miles. We've got 34.53 miles to go. In total. We 
we are doing a quick drive scenario from London Victoria to Faversham via Catford and uh, we have including uh, the starting uh, at London Victoria and uh, the final stop 12 in total we are currently up to the seventh stop coming up next uh, the eighth stop sorry coming up next seven stops down. I sort of had a look at the uh, video actually of all the networks they're going to be uh, building in London up to 2050 I think it was the uh, class 707 that we have uh, ladies and gentlemen Armstrong powerhouse it's a 375 just there actually
when is the 4A5 going? Um, Seven seven, I think. Oh no. I think that might have been into there actually. Is that a four eight five? I think that might have been into four four eight five maybe. What's the white one? All right, six miles out from Rochester. Next stop. So here is uh, ours, uh, that's the status, sorry, we don't want that. Here is our sheet. Uh, so we've got Rochester, Chatham, Gillingham, Sittingbourne, and then uh, we're just dropping off the passengers. It's the final stop at Fabsham. And two minutes each stop. in the country. Look at this. Beautiful. That's what I love about this route. You know, you got the urban side of it at start, you know, into the London area. Uh, London, you come straight out of London and out into this beautiful, beautiful scenery and the Exactly like it is here in Sydney, you know, you go down uh, down south uh, from uh, Sydney down the Canberra or to Melbourne on the XPT, and you, as soon as you come out of the Cameltown region, you can just see, you know, nothing for hours. You know, you got places like this in and out of tunnels and all kinds of things, and yeah, it's, it's amazing.
Hi, we're about, uh, we're not that far from, uh, Faversham now. There's the motor, uh, there's the, uh, motorway. Uh, there's the high speed line as well. I think that's, I'm pretty sure that was the, uh... Is that the Eurostar? Yeah, it would have been. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that was the one that goes to France. We're going to be going over the bridge soon. You can see, you can start, you can start seeing uh, a little bit of fibers from there. So we're going to be swinging around, going over the bridge. You know what? You know what's in the facility, folks. We're coming up to the uh, one of the feature highlights with the submarine. This is why I prefer this one, because it's just incredible, you know, like, you go to the parts of it that you don't need to TSW, because down here's the southeastern high speed, yeah, and it comes up through here and over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is the uh, other part of it. Oh, man. Yeah. And there's more than one way out of uh, London, Victoria into there, man, trust me. You go via Canterbury and stuff as well. There's a submarine. Had the announcement already. Would have missed it going over the, the showing you the graphics and everything around the area for before that anyway. So So, as you know, the history of this station is uh, that this got moved down from the original location because they couldn't establish a car park where it was originally, so they moved it a little bit down towards here.
All right, two minutes here as well. Gives me time to go and have a quick toilet break. Alright. Did we get the signal yet? Probably not. Your attention please. Platform 2. Train number 169 departure to Faversham is imminent. Please stand out of the doors. For your safety, we invite you not to leave your luggage unattended and to report to us any package or object that you think is suspicious. Thank you for your vigilance. And of course, we couldn't uh, do the trip without. Hang on. Next stop, Chatham. I was just going to say, uh, we couldn't do uh, this run without having to stop at Dovetail's headquarters. <laughs> Chatham's next. I swear it looks way more detailed on this one than TSW's us. It just looks, it looks, it looks natural, you know? It looks better. That's just my opinion. But yeah, this enhancement obviously does um, put a way better spin to it. I still, I still think that this it looks nice on here, but I think it looks nicer on the TSW. I don't know. There's that no, no car park, car park there though. Where's their headquarters? <laughs> Probably that big building just there. Oh, where is it? Where are we? Where are we? Where's the station? Over there. It's probably that big building over there. <laughs>
I didn't get enough time really to change the uh, times. I would have I would have put uh, 90 seconds and some 60 seconds, not bloody two minutes. This is actually turning out to be one of our longest runs in quite a while. It's longer than I thought. I had a feeling it was long, but yeah, not, uh, I thought it would be like an hour, hour and ten. So I've been going for... Platform 2. Train number 169 departure to Faversham is imminent. Please stand out of the doors.
We remind you that it is forbidden to smoke inside the station. Thank you for your understanding. Platform 3. Train number 169 departure to Faversham is imminent. Please stand out of the doors.
into our second last stop here. Second last stop on the trip, 7.25 miles to go after this. It's been a long one, and you think the southeastern high speed's long. Just ignore that box, that's the standard version. Who done on your hands? Yeah, this is real train driving, you know. Seven five. There can't be a three seven five shot, or not? Your attention, please. Platform 2. Train number 169 departure to Faversham is imminent. Please stand out of the doors. stops next folks
rude bastard fucking farting in here. What the hell? <laughs> like one of those Mr. Bean ones. Like that episode when he was on the plane, you know, and being the smart to that little kid. No, he got him back, didn't he? <laughs> We're getting closer to the end. We've been averaging uh, 41.7 miles along the whole trip. Maximum speed's been 91.3. Uh, currently, um, hour and 34 minutes in, and we're coming close to the end now.
a few moments our train will arrive at Faversham, our terminus station. Please make sure you haven't forgotten any luggage or personal belongings on the train. We remind you that it is forbidden to smoke inside the station. We hope you had a pleasant trip and we wish you a nice day. Here we are. It's been an absolute honour and privilege bringing you this quick scenario with the RW Ahansa Pro 2, ladies and gentlemen. Well, the RW Ahansa 2, I should say. It's been uh, a great journey. Hope you did enjoy. There'll be a full replay of this one if you've come in late. And add it to our dedicated train simulator classic playlist. Please approach the closed signal and renew your request. Well, there it is ladies and gentlemen done and done fantastic your service has finished it's been an absolute honor ladies and gentlemen bringing you this gameplay here at Australia Worldwide Gaming and uh, yeah as you can see that I am using the RW Hansa Pro I went straight to the thing there you can see how what time it was actually <laughs> it's 12 42 a.m. local time here in Sydney Australia so thank you very much for watching it's been an incredible massive massive one this one I you know pretty much doubled my normal time so uh, yeah uh, thank you very much for coming along I hope you enjoyed we're going to be doing some more quick drives uh, with the RW Hansa 2 Pro uh, tomorrow, uh, as well as our main live stream uh, is uh, coming up tomorrow is American Truck Simulator with Thursday night 18 wheels live from 8 p.m. in the East Coast of Australia, 7:30 p.m. South Australia Northern Territory, 6 p.m. Western Australia, 3:30 p.m. in India, 11 a.m. UK, 12 p.m. Germany, 6 a.m. Boston, 3 a.m. Los Angeles. Come and join us then for two hours of American Truck Simulator with our first gameplay of the 145 update. And we have a fantastic truck and trailer combination ready to go. Uh, and uh, it is up in the upcoming live streams area now, so set the reminder. And uh, don't forget, you can watch a full replay of this one. And there is a full replay of our other two that we did earlier today, uh, of Train Simulator Classic. And there is a replay of our main live stream here this uh, Wednesday of Midweek World of Trains where we went to Sherman Hill. We uh, had a great run on there. Uh, it was fantastic indeed. And a few others as well. We did a couple others after that. So go and check that out. Thank you very much for watching. I am the Godfather. We'll see you on the rails again sometime soon. Hooroo.